Hey golf people, it's been an incredible 2021 and with 2022 upon us, I wanna discuss what I'm most excited about testing out in the new year and possibly putting into my own bag. There are a number of new releases. We've got the PGA show happening in January where I will be there testing all the golf technology and equipment that is released for 2022. And here is what I'm most looking forward to based on the rumors that are swirling about as well as some confirmed releases that we know are happening. All right, first up on my list, what I'm most excited about is the release of the new Mizuno Pro 225 in particular. The 225s are basically the upgraded version of the Mizuno MP20 HMBs, the clubs I played up until this season. Really love the HMBs because it's got the look of a player's iron. It kind of looks like an old blade, like my old MP33s. And yet it's got all of those game improvement features that a person like me, a mere mortal, really needs to have. It's actually hollow inside. They've shifted some weight down. One complaint that I did have with the HMBs was the profile in the higher iron. So I'm talking about the three, the four, the five irons. The profile of that club was a little chunky and you can actually kind of see the backside at a dress. With the new Mizuno Pro 225 series, however, that profile has become a little bit more players iron looking, meaning they've shrunk the profile down. They've also addressed my only other gripe of the HMBs, the fact that the loft was not quite as strong as some of the more modern irons. I'm looking for a stronger loft personally because I just need a little bit more distance. And I do believe that the technology now allows for that. With all the new technological improvements, we can now have stronger lofted clubs that fly just about as high and stop just about as well as the old clubs. So the lofts in my MP20 HMBs at the seven iron were 32 degrees with this new Mizuno Pro Series 225, we're looking at 30 degrees, so about two degrees stronger. I'm excited to see if I can get a little bit more distance, maybe closer to my Sim 2 type distance or the Mizuno JPX 921 hot metals that I really loved last year as well. I think I can probably gain a few more yards with that stronger loft. And I'm super excited to get that Mizuno forged feel back in my hands in 2022. Next up on my list is the TaylorMade Stealth series of drivers. As you know, the Sim 2 was my driver of choice last year. It's what I put in my bag. It's right behind me here. And I don't think you can make a club any better than the Sim 2, but apparently TaylorMade says they can. And I'm really excited to see what TaylorMade's got in store. I don't think I will buy this club, but I'd love to see if there's actually any noticeable improvements with the Stealth series. It looks like there's gonna be two versions of the Stealth, the Stealth and Stealth Plus. The Plus model being the more adjustable model where you can actually move some weights around and probably adjust your trajectory and shot shape. I'm excited to test these out on course and I'm hoping I can get my hands on one of these just as soon as they are released. Next up on my list is a piece of technology that was actually released in 2021 in the fourth quarter, but I've yet to get my hands on it because like everything, there has been a supply shortage in the golf industry. And this piece of golf technology looks to be the most exciting release for quite some time. That's the Bushnell Launch Pro 2. It is a full on simulator at around the $3,000 price point. And boy, does this thing look good. It's basically the same technology from the GC Quad and the GC2. They've actually released a GC3 and the Bushnell Launch Pro 2 is pretty much the same as the GC3. I know it's confusing and that's how golf technology is, right? However, this thing looks amazing. It's going to give you PGA Tour quality accuracy at a much more reasonable price point. And I do say reasonable with like air quotes because as we know, all of this stuff is not cheap. However, I'm actually sitting where I will be building my new indoor simulator. It's gonna be my video studio in 2022. And I'm looking forward to having the Bushnell Launch Pro 2 as the centerpiece so I can test out all the golf clubs that you see on the show. Rather than going into my friends at Edwin Watts, I'll be able to do it right here from the studio. So that's one huge piece of technology that I'm looking forward to trying and testing out for you in 2022. 
The next piece of equipment that I'm super excited about is Callaway's release of the Rogue ST. The last Rogue driver came out almost four years ago and they had the Maverick series in between a couple of epic releases, but we're back to a Rogue release here and I'm excited to see what's in store because I know a lot of viewers of this channel are looking at clubs in this type of range. It's gonna be a little bit more game improvement, hopefully gonna give you a little bit more distance and forgiveness. And I'm guessing that the price point will be a little bit lower than some of the options that are currently on the market because I know a lot of people are price conscious. I don't have a ton of details right now about the Rogue ST, except for the fact that the previous generation of Rogues was pretty good, and I'm looking forward to seeing what they've done to upgrade this one as well. I'm sure they've moved some weight around. There's probably better MOI and all that marketing speed that we hear from golf club manufacturers. I would just like to put it in my hands and see if it can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with my Sim 2 or any of the other better driver releases that I saw in 2021. Another set of irons that I'm really looking forward to trying in 2022, and again, this was a 2021 release that I just haven't had a chance to try out yet. That is the Titleist T100, T100S, T200, T300, the whole series. The T200 probably looks like it'll be the best option for me, as again, it's got a slightly stronger loft, but still has those player characteristics that I like in a player's iron. I think your higher handicaps are certainly going to enjoy the T300 series, which is going to be much more game improvement focused. And if you need a super game improvement club, they've also got that now, I believe in the T400, they're calling it. I'm looking forward to trying out the T100S specifically because it's a slightly stronger lofted, more distance focused version of the T100, which a ton of tour players are using right now. I'm pretty pumped for those, and we will be trying those out on the channel very soon, probably with my buddy Patrick, who you see from time to time. Now, the last new release that I'm looking forward to in 2022 specifically is the new line of Cleveland Zip Core wedges. I played Cleveland's for many years. I loved the old Tour Action 900 series, the regular 588s all of those old classic Cleveland wedge designs. Recently, I haven't really loved Cleveland wedges. I feel like they've kind of lost a step there against some of the other manufacturers, but I'm hoping they regain it here with the zip cores and I can't wait to test it out for myself. So there you have it, guys. That's everything I'm looking forward to in 2022. Would love to know what you're looking forward to in 2022. So leave a comment down below and check out this video here where I showed you all of my favorites from 2021. I think you'll really enjoy that video. Until next time, hit them straight and I'll see you in another edition of Let's Play Real.